I came to Bay Area Legal Services in 1976 after developing an elder law unit at a legal aid program in the state of Washington. I took a particular interest in elder law after living in Ghana for three years during my time in the Peace Corps. I found that their elders were treated with great dignity and respect, which I didn't necessarily see in the United States. So when I decided to return to Florida, I joined Bay Area Legal Services to set up an elder law unit where there was none. But once the unit was established, I felt there were many other unrealized opportunities to increase client services as well. So when the position of CEO became available, I decided to apply and I was chosen for the job. That was 1980. Back then we had a small staff and a $700,000 budget and but one grant. Today, over four decades later, Bayer Legal is one of the largest law firms in the Tampa Bay region with the sole purpose of helping people with significant problems who can't afford an attorney, like elders, domestic violence survivors, veterans, children, small businesses, nonprofit organizations, victims of disaster, and more. Our mantra is to strive to continuously improve and increase our services to our clientele. Our successful growth is directly attributable to our many years of successfully attracting superb staff members and superb members of our Board of Directors and Development Council, and because of our hundreds of supporters, including many top leaders in the legal community. I think the first time I ever met Dick, he was talking about management guru Peter Drucker. He's a big Peter Drucker fan. Peter Drucker had nothing on Dick Waldman. You know, it was clear to me from the minute I met him what a visionary he is, what uh, a motivated leader he is, um, and all of the great plans that he had for Bay Area Legal Services at that point. Dick is a gifted athlete, uh, particularly in tennis. And over the course of many decades, he has just crushed younger men at tennis regularly. Dick graduated from law school. He didn't go right into practice. He went to Ghana, where he worked. And one of the things he did was set up a tennis program, a youth tennis camp. And so he is now known as the honorary chief of tennis of Ghana. You know, I've, I've learned, I, I think, a number of things from Dick. One would be to uh, stay focused. Uh, you know, he always has his eye on what it is you need to accomplish. One thing I've learned from Dick Waltman is to analyze threats and opportunities. We talk about this a lot. I think the greatest thing that I've learned from Dick Waltman is empathy. And what I mean by that is um, I don't think he could have done this job for 43 years without having the biggest heart um, without feeling like he could put himself in the shoes of the clients and understand their plight. He's made us better leaders, better lawyers, better advocates, and hopefully better people. I mean, we've had the opportunity to learn at the foot of the master. If I were asked to describe Dick Wolben in one word, it would be integrity. Dick always does the right thing. I tell people that Bay Area Legal Services is the best run nonprofit for which I have ever volunteered or worked. And I think that's because of that word, effective. If I have to describe Dick in one word, visionary. That is impossible. You cannot limit me to one word about Dick Waltman. So Dick? is like a master sailor, right? He reads the cloud formations, he senses a shift in the wind patterns before many others do in the legal services community. And it's really through Dick's skill that we have been able to navigate some, some rough seas. Visionary, innovative, uh, leader, relationship builder, that's hyphenated, so counts as one word. Uh, I, I would say Dick Boltman's legacy in the legal community here is what he's done 
to make Barry a the premier legal services firm in Florida and probably in the country. It, Dick is the creator of the preeminent um, legal services program in the state of Florida. Uh, there's just no question in my mind about that. Dick, I would like to thank you personally for all the work you have done for uh, this community and for the legal services uh, uh, community and for uh, me and for giving me the opportunity to volunteer and to your always listening and providing constructive feedback to me. Personally, I want to thank you for the mentorship and the guidance that you have given me throughout my career. Thank you. In 45 years of practice, serving on the board of Bay Area has enabled me to do, uh, do right by my community, uh, assist the less fortunate, and uh, just given me some of the best memories and experiences of my life. So thank you, Dick. Personal thanks for all you've done for Bay Area and the community, and uh, as I said earlier, facilitating, bringing people together. You've got a unique talent. Uh, and finding money too, which I know you have some helpers with, but uh, it's all good. We've, uh, everyone's indebted to you, thank you. And I just wanna say thank you to you for everything that you did for me and every opportunity that you gave me to be a leader and to learn from you and to grow my compassion and to grow uh, my love for the law. I wanna give a personal thank you to Dick for being not just a great mentor, but one of my most dear friends over the course of the last almost 40 years. Um, I've said before, and I'll say again, I've said it privately to Dick, and I'm happy to say it publicly here. If I picked five people that I've known in my life that I would want my kids to emulate, Dick Waltman would be at the top of the list. So Dick, thanks for letting me just be in your orbit. Succession is the great test of a system and Bay Area Legal Services is going to have a great transition. We have a series of new leaders, many of whom will lead Bay Area for the next 20 to 30 years. I am confident that the future of this organization is in the best hands possible. The improvement does not stop here. It is just the beginning.